Now, we've had a swath of banking earnings out this month. So how is the sector looking? We're joined by Wale Oyebanjo. He's an equities dealer at Vetivo Capital. Thank you so much, Wale, for taking the time out to join us. Now, we're looking at Q1 numbers that have been released so far by banks. But let's start with that, the financial report of a certain bank that you saw and found compelling. Uh, well, among um, the banks, those ones that were very compelling um, include the tier one banks, um, most especially Zenith Bank, um, Guarantee Trust Bank, as well as Hatzes and First Bank, um, uh, including UBA as well. I think generally the performance has been quite good um, in line with a lot of analyst expectation and for some of them they even surpassed, an, surpassed analyst expectation uh, that's in the space for the tier one banks. Um, for the tier two banks it has not been so um, fantastic um, and it is expected. He, it, um, when you see p good performance generally um, in a, a bit harsh um, space, okay. uh, the tier one banks are likely to weather out through and do better. Okay, now there appears to be a significant, or we've seen a, a significant growth in non-interest income uh, across the board. What do you make of that? Is it, and is, is this a trend you think banks can sustain in 2015? I don't think so. I think um, the banks, they've just been able to display their ingenuity um, in terms of, for Q1, um, it's the period when you had the, the political events, a lot of um, political activity uh, playing out. And at that particular time, you had the FX wasn't that stable. We saw the foreign reserve actually going down um, during that period. But they were able to, if the, their main business, which is interest generation, if that could not be what will sustain the business, then they have to look for alternative means. And they went through the, the route of the non-interest income and they were able to do well okay. um, in that space. Now, what are your expectations in terms of how these banks will manage KPIs like uh, operating expenses, uh, provisions for loan losses? I'm just looking at Fidelity Q1, the latest uh, out uh, among banks. Uh, operating expenses were up 13% year on year. Provision for loan losses up 154%. That's, that's quite significant. Uh, generally, um, in this space, We've seen operating expense being the major thing that a lot of banks have not been able to, to, to curtail. Um, um, it's more for some banks like First Bank. Um, First Bank has been the major problem for First Bank for um, several years now. Um, the likes of Zenith Banks and GT have able, been able to curtail it better. Um, but for the likes of First Bank, I think it's still one of the things they will need to sit down and get themselves well with. Um, for s the likes of Zenith Bank, GT, I think they be managing their operating expense quite well. Um, for the tier two space, it's still going to be a big challenge um, for them managing their operating expense. The likes of Fidelity Banks and um, UB, UBN, that's U Union Bank. Union like, Bank. Like, I was like going to ask saw. you about the, I mean, yeah. your thoughts about the U Union Bank story. I mean, coming yeah. from 2009 financial crisis and looking at where they are today. Yeah, I think um, I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, looking at their year-end result, it was um, beyond a lot of analyst expectation. Um, the Q1 result is out, which is not as e good as expected. Uh, but last year, I think um, they had some extraordinary income come into play. They had sales of some subsidiaries, so we've not seen that income come into play this time around. Um, I think. Um, Going forward, I think okay. they are likely to do better right. in the coming quarters. All right, Wally, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and perspective on Bank's uh, Q1 earnings. That was Wally Oyebanjo, equities dealer at Bativa Capital. Well,